is 1 to the power of infinity equal to 1? That might seem simple at first, but gets really mind-bending when you think about it. All right, let's start simple. 1 to the power of 1 is 1. 1 squared? Still 1. 1 to the power of pi? Yep, still 1. So, uh, obviously, 1 to the power of infinity should also be 1, right? Well, not exactly. The problem is, infinity isn't a number. It's a concept, a direction. In regular algebra, exponents make perfect sense. We multiple a number in times and get the result. But you can't just plug infinity into your calculator, and you definitely can't use it like a normal exponent. So what one power of infinity actually means? In regular algebra, exponents make perfect sense, as long as you're working with actual numbers. Since infinity is not a number, algebra just kind of throws up its hands and call it undefined. To make any real sense of it, we have to bring in calculus and look at it through the lens of limits. So what one power of infinity actually means? Specifically, when we talk about one power infinity, what we really mean is a limit of the form. The limit as x approaches infinity of f of x raised to the power g of x, where the base f of x gets closer and closer to 1, and the exponent g of x grows without bound. Depending on how exactly these functions behave, this limit can land on anything. Let's dig into this further. Imagine we take a function like these two. As x gets bigger and bigger, the base is getting closer to 1, and the exponent is growing toward infinity. So, this looks like it's becoming 1 power infinity. But guess what? In first function, the limit equals e, which is about 2.718. In second function, the limit is just 1. Same form, totally different results. That's why mathematicians say 1 power infinity is indeterminate, just like other indeterminate forms. Which is a fancy way of saying, this looks like it should have a clear answer. But it doesn't. Let's try one more way of solving this. If we take take the natural log of that expression, we get this. Infinity into x, which is, again, indeterminate form. So we can say that in regular algebra, 1 to the power infinity is undefined. And in calculus, sometimes it's 1, sometimes it's Euler's number, depending on how the base approaches 1 and how fast the exponent grows. Subscribe this channel for more videos like this.